What's up, Arslings? Welcome back to the channel, The Last Kingdom, Season 2, Episode Number 4. And episode started super brutal. Ended up having a really kind of happy ending. But we had to spend the entire episode essentially with Uhtred on a slave ship. Just rowing and rowing and rowing and rowing. And just watching him and everyone that he's with just literally deteriorate into almost nothing. Yeah. And his companion, his buddy, Halig, brutal death. So insane. He got strapped to the front of the ship and just... Yeah. Like, Uhtred was rowing hard and he had to hear his screams and essentially hear him die. And <sighs> that was brutal. That's one of the more kind of punishing deaths we've seen in a show. Like, it's up there yeah, for sure. Because totally. I couldn't even imagine what that would be like experiencing such a thing. I don't want to ever know. Thank you so yeah. much. So they, they were able to make land and Alfred sent Ragnar to go find Uhtred and Ragnar did a little investigation and found out that like this time of the year, the ship comes back. So they were able to kind of strategically figure that out. And the moment Uhtred saw Ragnar, it was one of those just really touching, awesome. I don't know what it is. Like these two have amazing chemistry and like they feel like they're legitimately like brothers. Yeah. Every time, like they haven't had that much on screen time up to this point, but it's like every time they get together on screen, you could feel it. Like you feel the bond and the relationship and you know, they still got a shit ton of revenge to get. Kiartan's out there, Sven was there, and the moment someone showed up, this dude fucking booked it. Oh like, my god, he's <laughs> such a biatch, dude. He's got his bedazzled eye cover, which... Honestly, it's kind of fantastic, yeah. I gotta say. He was there to, you know, buy the slaves, and he saw Uhtred, and then help showed up, and he literally... Like, this dude is the biggest wuss. The moment there's, like, any conflict, he's gone. I cannot wait to see his death. Oh. I don't know if it's going to be Uhtred or Ragnar who gets it, but Somebody's Sven, getting it. Sven's got it coming to him for sure. Mm -hmm. And now that Uhtred is back with his crew, it's it was a really nice moment with Hild as well. That that was probably one of the coolest scenes where they were kind of just he was sleeping for days, and she went and checked on him, and he had like all the markings from getting whipped and stuff, and That's they just had like sad, a but it was very sweet. Was they very had a great sweet. moment. Moment, and then of course, Uhtred has to make it weird for a sec. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be an Uhtred moment with another female of it. <laughs> right, he didn't crack a joke of yeah. some kind. It's like that's just I who he feel is like at this he point. he looks at her as a sister. So at this point, so I I think it's a very like funny, cute relationship. Yeah, for sure. They have. I mean, but the, the the amount of respect that they both have for each other is great. Yeah, she's flying up the list of amazing characters in this show. She's a little mad at him right now because uh, duh, yeah. Because Uhtred went and got a little bit of revenge on the abbot. He killed him in a sacred place and yeah, regardless of what her relationship is with Uhtred and the relationship there and all that stuff, like she's still very much tied to her religion and her beliefs and what Uhtred did was wrong. But I, even I, though we were all oh like, yeah, that was he's got to die. <laughs> that was one of those things where it's like, yeah, this dude is a problem. Every turn that he had an opportunity to just talk shit about Uhtred to King just Guthrid in his fucking ear. I mean, Guthrid is one of the worst kings I think I've seen in anything. Terrible. The way he sways back and forth, it's like, oh, this person told me something, I'm going to side with them. Oh, now he's going to tell me something, I'm going to side with them. Oh, that person, oh, oh yeah. Like, he like literally... Like the wind. Like the wind. It's so insane. So he made this deal with Uhtred's uncle, and the deal was his head. And he tried to play it off like, oh, yeah, he's dead. He's, yeah, yeah, he's good as dead. He's as good as And it's like, dead. no. That, that wasn't the deal. It's not the plan. Him being on a slave ship, rowing his ass off day after day is not being dead. It's close, but he ain't dead. The so living hell, perhaps. The deal next and off to do other things. But they were able to find a way to make the deal work. And Uhtred's uncle found out about Guthrid's sister and the relationship that she has with Uhtred. And so the abbot is like, oh, yeah, sure. Here, you could have her. And we'll, we'll make that deal work. And, like, Guthrid's obviously very protective of his sister. And he's like, oh, wait, you will? Oh, okay. 
yeah, sure. So he's gonna try to get her and he's gonna offer up all the spears and yeah, he's gonna have his army. But again, I don't I don't feel like this is gonna work out too well because we still got Eric and Siegfried who's out there. We still got Kiartan and Sven and all that whole situation playing out. But the important thing is Uhtred is back with Alfred. I wasn't sure how they were gonna get back together and get this like really cool, fun, interesting bond back. Oh, but but I, I don't think it's it, fun from Uhtred's side of it. He doesn't want to be back under, no, in the he fold. Has, he has other things that he needs, he needs to get done, but it's the punishment for killing the abbot in the sacred land and all that stuff. So instead of him being killed, which I assume would be the alternative, he's just gonna go back and work with Alfred again. And I really like the two of them together. I think they got a great relationship. I think yeah. it just works. Like, I the just, way Alfred handles things, I, I think it's past the point of him completely picking on Uhtred constantly. I, we'll see. I, want, I need to see, like, a little bit more of respect from Alfred to yeah. Uhtred. But, I mean, like, I get it because Uhtred makes some really big mistakes. Yeah. So hopefully we could get Uhtred and Ragnar together and get their revenge. And I mean, that feels like it's a really slow burn story. Yeah. So I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon, but it's definitely something that you constantly are thinking about because again, that's one of the main focuses of the original plan that Uhtred came up with is like, get revenge for my family. Yes. And it's Uhtred and Ragnar together because they've had opportunities to go try to handle things individually with their situations, but no, they got to do it together. They got to be together, they gotta get the kill, and Sven and Kiartan are gonna go down at some point. So, yeah, yeah there's a lot playing out. Mm -hmm. this, this has been a really cool start to season two. Yes. You ready to check out episode four? Yeah. Let's go. So are they released then? I hope, that would be nice. Oh. Or Brita was released and... Will you kill my brother? Hell yeah, dude. Kill him. Kill him! Are you asking if I will or are you telling me to do it? The first one. I have sworn to Alfred that Guthrid will not be harmed. Ugh. Alfred could marry me after some elder man and you would not be here to stop... <laughs> <laughs> it would not be the first time a king has tried. I mean, you've already been kind of claimed, unfortunately. I mean, that's what she was saying, like, King's already tried. Mm. What's this? You're leaving without me? Frida's gone already. She's gathering my men. I'd ask her to come with me, but I hear you've been making more of your oaths. Plan doesn't change. You belong to Alfred. Our plan doesn't change. Guthrid made you a slave, and by swearing to Alfred, you remain a slave. I have my reasons. I would like to hear those reasons. I did not forget what Guthrid did to me. But if it means we have a greater chance of killing Kjartan, if it means we find our sister, then I will do what Alfred asks. Kjartan falls by my sword. He will, brother. He will. I really like them together. Me too. I understand Ragnar's frustration, though. Oh my god, yes. He's like, really? And we gotta wait for something else now, too? It's like, are you going to just forever be Alfred's? Yeah. Because that's what it feels like. I'm sending Uhtred to Efferwich to aid Guthrid against the brothers who would take the city for themselves. I want you to go with him. Surely a letter would suit the purpose. Try to get out of it. Thought they are almost Scots. Should I turn my hair red? Remind Uhtred of his oaths. You will reassure our northern king that in spite of what has passed, my commitment to his prosperity has not waned. You shall be my eyes, ears, and voice, Ethelwald. I think you're giving him like too much yeah you're thinking too highly of him i mean like you said he has been proving himself so maybe yeah. it's time i don't know take this it is the symbol of my kingship i just still can't believe he's around yeah right with like his constant lucky but like not even just that but like his constant claim to be like I'm the Alfred king. took it from me. It's mine. Yeah. Like maybe he kind of gave up on them a little bit, or no? I mean, it feels that way, but still, like maybe just no one ever took him serious enough to see him as a threat. Like this guy. Yeah. Nah, we're good. You want in your room? No, the brothel. I've been very busy. Is it for Guthrid? Yes. Fortunes of kings. Their failures are rewarded with gifts. Father, I need you to marry me to Gisela. Oh shoot! You have Alfred's blessing. It's not Alfred I wish to marry. Shit. 
you love her. I do. I feel you are too fond of love. Yeah, and well, he um, kind of falls into it quite often. Wife number four? <laughs> well, three, technically. Yeah. Now that you are bound together, I can declare you man and wife. Like, does this count? I hope so. Or is this going to cause, like, a big problem? It's probably going to cause a problem. When Uhtred finds out that her brother promised yeah. her to his uncle, like... I fear Uhtred will not return. You believe he will break his oath? No, I believe Bevenberg will hold a greater pull than Wessex. Should he rid Northumbria of these Northmen, uh -oh. he will look toward Kiartan, his blood feud. Yes, but that is no bad thing. Should he defeat Kiartan, then who holds the power in Northumbria? Uhtred and Ragnar are pagans. And there is that risk. Uhtred is a warrior. And secondly, should he turn his attention to Bevenberg and indeed to Northumbria as a whole, then Stiapa is under instruction to kill him. What the fuck? You'd think that he'd, like, give him a little bit of credit, a little bit of leeway. No. When will we have sight of Everwitch? Oh, my God. Are we there yet? I've never ridden for so long nor so far. Are we there yet? I have a sore everything. I need a woman to rub and bathe me. Oh, God. We will be stopping soon enough at Everwitch. We ride first for Lordis. First and foremost, our purpose here is the king's business. Nothing has changed but our path, Bjorka. We shall see. Shit. Ragnar and Uhtred together, you know they're going to be up to no good. Word. <laughs> we're going to make a little pit stop first. Mm. Rita. You brought friends? They serve Alfred. Do we have men? Some. Well, that was a warm greeting. You kept her in jail. What do you expect? Well, I think I know what you plan. Revenge will not bring you peace, only death. Father Bayoka, you will have me kill for Alfred, but not for myself. Why is that? What business does Alfred have with Northumbria? God's business. Yeah! <laughs> I love that. That's a warm welcome. I didn't think so many would come. What? Rana! Rolo. What makes what? you think we're here for you? Rolo. That can't be the. It's not. Rolo's living the king's life somewhere around this time if he's still alive, I would imagine. So why not kill the Northman, then kill the Turd, take Efferwidge and its army for yourself? Those are the words of a traitor. <laughs> I don't want Efferwidge. All I want is Kjartan's heart on the end of my sword. I promised these men silver and the glory of avenging your father. Don't dishonor them by getting them killed for Guthred, the turd. I love that they call him the turd. He is a turd. I mean, he's it, a turd. It fits very well. These men are here for Ragnar. We can't ask them to die for the like of Guthred. Isn't it what Danes do? Fight. The Northmen have a camp, do they not? Not a fortress, but an open camp. We kill them. While they're sleeping. Shadow Walkers. The crazy thing, like, I don't know why this just popped into my head, but this idea that, like, Alfred sent them on, like, a specific mission and they're kind of yeah going off. Mm -hmm. like, the, the lines of communication is, like, maybe someone will send a letter, but it's like, Alfred doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are here in Northumbria. Uhtred and Ragnar. How many men? They had barely 50 at Lloydis. They'll find others that go to the poxy king Guthred. I want every man aware and ready. No drunkenness till it's done. Damn it. Can't get drinks. Shit. We should hunt them down now. 50 men can win a battle in the open. No army of any size can breach this fortress. They can die trying at my gates. Go! What can I do? Not be one idiot. Whore. Tell us you need not feed her hounds. No, she is not yours, and she's certainly not your whore, sir. Your brother Ragnar is here in Northumbria. Dang, she looks awful. He will attack. My father demands that you let the hounds go hungry. I have no brother. Get out. Get out! Dude, she's scary. Well, the way she, she like... got all those puppies behind her. 
the way she like walked out of the shadow there. Yeah. And I mean, she's, you know, she's. It's not like she's been treated well. Right. I mean, <laughs> her look is makes sense. <laughs> you see how big of a wuss Sven is? Oh my god, one hundred percent. It's like he's been coddled his whole life, and he's never had to actually stand up and fight. It seems like. Yeah, a little bit. Which tents are full? Which are empty? And in which tent is Siegfried? Which is Eric? We are blind. Tapple. The okay. game, Tapple. The king is positioned at the center of the pieces. There is the king. From any other mouth, it made perfect sense. It is perfect sense. <laughs> From any... <laughs> we'll go in alone. We go in as agreed, together. Cannot risk the both of us being killed. Yes, we can. Is this for Alfred? You must save your sword for Kjartan. If it is for Alfred, I will go with you. And me. It was my bastard plan. And I shall wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. He's not going to volunteer to go. <laughs> Shadow Walkers. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's see here, right? Ow! 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 He's a biter! Ow, ow. He's a biter! Because Eric's the real pretty one, right? Yeah, he's gorgeous. <laughs> you don't like me? I can be a funny man. <laughs> oh, why, why is it always the eyes? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. It's always the eyes. <laughs> can we not? Can we just stop? Can we come to an agreement, please? <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my god. Somebody kill her. Oh. Necessary. Necessary. Utrecht, you will spare him. Steady your man. Name your price. Kill him, Eric. Kill him, I say. Name your price. It will be done. I swear. I give you my word. Kill him. And you kill yourself. Your word? I swear. This is so intense. You will take one ship and you will leave Northumbria. One ship for my brother's life. This is done. Uh, 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 I swear that I will kill you, Uhtred Ragnarsson. You are a funny man. Oh. He had to cauter the, what is it? Cauterize. Cauter, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was brutal. Dude, that moment was so intense. That was. Fucking cut his hand he off. Just straight. Sh yeah. He can't, is he carrying the hand? He's carrying it around. I mean, that pretty white horse red. <laughs> oh my god. What now, Biatch? Utrid, Father Bayokai. I had heard that you were close. I not realized how close. Lord King Alfred has sent us oh, here to assist you. Okay. We'll allow King Guthrie to speak first. Has he pooped himself yet? Also heard that you had been recovered. I am glad. Bullshit. If you're here to kill me, I don't blame you. I would kill me too. <laughs> but it would be a mistake. Another mistake. The only one making mistakes is you, bitch. Come in King Alfred's stead. We have gifts. <laughs> you just said, shut We're the just fuck like, up. Stop. Yeah. Oh, in your plate. He like gets up and dances. Brothers won't trouble you again. In return, you will give me your army. You will do as I ask, Uthrit, or I shall kill you. He does not know what he says, Lord. No. <laughs> Bioka, stop talking. I will kill you and take every consequence. What you did to me. What you did to Halik. I can never forget. I shall never forget. Dude, Uchra is scary as fuck. Now give me your fucking. Already a man to march. 
How do I know that the brothers are gone? How do I know that this hand belongs to Siegfried? Like your uncle, I would have preferred a head. Another head. word, Lord, and it would be your own head. Oh. But I will take Efferwitz and the army for myself. Beoka. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love this show so much. It's so good. Come on, you bitch. What are you gonna do now? I mean, he's gonna do what he always does. Yeah, bitch out. He's gonna make the deal that is easiest and best for him in the moment. We should kill him. Third king. Do you never tire of menace? I do not. Who gets to keep it? Guthred. Guthred naturally. He has effort which. Ragnar should have it. No. I almost forgot about the clapper. <laughs> Kjartan built Dunholm on the blood of Ragnar the Fearless. Belongs to his blood son, Ragnar. As long as my sword finds Kjartan's heart, I do not care. The Arsling is right. For once, he is wrong. Uhtred, you say Alfred has never set foot in Northumbria. He has no need. We are here, all of us, to do his bidding. He allows Uhtred to attack. He allows nothing. I'm here because it's my business to be here. Uhtred, you are his man. You, more than anyone, will bring about his dream of an England. I say it as I now see it. You have shit in your eye. Oh! <laughs> I see it as a king would see it. Interesting. Yep. Oh, he's just, he's still just terrified there. Ah! Dude, seriously, it's like the thing <laughs> from the fucking Adams family. He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna see him moving and shit. Watch. Utrid, will you join me, please? I am a little afraid of you, Utrid of Bebenber. I fear that you would take my newly found power. I gave you my word. You made me a slave. In my defense, I was meant to kill you. I, I spared your life. Oh, Fred, no! <laughs> <laughs> Chill, Bianca. It's just a quick little slap. You were my friend, and I betrayed you. My sister as well. She's my wife. Good. Good. I shall write to Alfred. I shall inform him that that your journey to Dunholm is my instruction. And I do hope that you can one day find a place in your heart to forgive me. I still consider you my greatest friend. Out of fear? I think out of fear, yeah. Or out of actual friendship. I think out of fear. Let's... Like, he's scared shitless of him. Yeah. I mean, he kind of admitted to it, but, like, he also owes him. Yeah. You lied to me. Lord, I, I, I would never. You told me Dunholm has no weaknesses. Yet last time I was there, I saw a door along the east wall. Access to a water spring. You could never bring an army through it. I would not be bringing an army. Oh, shit. This is madness. Like how he's the only one wearing a helmet. Oh, no, there's some other ones. Oh, shit. We're gonna fucking log in there. Doing a little battering battering ram. ram. Yeah. Jinx. A little Braveheart action. Giant log on some wheels. Good luck, little brother. Aww. See you all in Dunham. None of them are allowed to die in, during this show. No, nope, nobody's. Y'all have to stay alive or we riot. I don't want to see Ragnar's or Uhtred's reactions to either of them dying. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Especially Uhtred's reaction if Ragnar dies. Oh, God, don't do that. Don't or do if that. Brita dies. That ram we have dragged, it will not work. It will not force open the gates, but it will work in its own way. We rest. We wait. Holy shit. You idiot. Idiot. One job. One, honestly. 
Good job. Don't fall. Dude, this is so intense. This will be the day. Count no valala. The day of days. So I said in our intro that I thought this was going to be like a slow bird to Kiartan. I Apparently guess not. it's happening now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Some stuff is slow burn. The other stuff is I like, for fucking sure, go. <laughs> I for sure thought that was going to last for like four seasons. Well, we're not done yet. No, I know. But it feels like. It's happening. She's so scared. Better hit your shot, buddy. Ragnar? The signal. Begins. I feel bad for these folks that are just out there just getting some water. Yeah. I hope nothing happens to the, those people. So they're the distraction? Yep. Oh shit! <laughs> Dude, Uhtred is very athletic. Very. Oh, fuckers, you're jumping over. Oh, oh, look at this guy just running in. Hopefully Sven's got his brown pants on. Doesn't he always? He's such a shit. Use the fire! Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, no. No. Dude, hurry up. Oh Holy shit. Why you... Oh, dude. What happened to Kit? Together we stand right now, guys. Hello? No one's listening to Ragnar. Come on, guys. Yeah, bud. Why do they keep peeling off and running away? Stop it! Hurry up, get the gate. Protect the gate. Fuck your gate, dude. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, get him, Clapper. I don't know where you think you're gonna pull back to, my dude. Bye, Sven. Oh shit! Oh shit! That was Rolo. He saved Ragnar though. Yeah, yeah. He threw his shield out there. Yep. Look at Sven just running away. What is your profession? Spartan. Yeah, bitch. Yeah! Oh shit. Puppies are hungry. Oh, my hounds haven't eaten in a while. This would be a fantastic way for him to die. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Puppies are hungry! Oh. Fuckers! <laughs> oh, man. Oh! 
Satan. You are beaten. Either you die alone or together with all your men. I can't believe this is happening now. You wish to fight me, baby Ragnar? Oh, fucker. No, 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 Ragnar, don't give him the chance. Rita. Burn the bastard, Ragnar. Rita. You and me. Oh, shit. Oh, I just got really nervous. Yeah. Dude, if Ragnar dies right now, I'm going to be really upset. Sister. Yeah. Made a good haul! Fucking guy. We have to tie her down to keep her from scratching. When we hump her all night. Fuck this guy. I killed your father! Get him! Get him! Get him! I'll get him! your mother! Oh no. Oh, yeah, oh shit. Oh, he's gonna oh, I was like he's gonna use his sword. I won't break you! Die. Give me my sword! Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! Oh damn. Yeah. I think this is dishonorable. I think Richard's the only one that's enjoying this. I think everybody else is like, ooh, um. I don't know, Brita doesn't. Stop. Brita's just not like happy right now. But he's getting all of it out. His whole family. Ragnar. Ragnar! It's over! Over. Oh my god. I I hope Oh, there she is. It's Tura. Oh, the puppies. You left me, both of you. You left me. Tura knows. You are no better than the bastards who hoard me. The price for my life. It's yours. No. I forbid it. Let me help you. This episode is really emotional. She's been through a lot. That Ragnar moment kind of got me when he was just going and going. I have not seen you fight like that before. That wasn't fighting, that was killing him was not enough. Can never be enough. But it's done. We've honored them. Yes. So, uh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Wessex. Must be Wessex or stay up. I will have instruction to kill me, I'm sure. Only he knows. What of Tura? Tell her else she's safe. I have known your brother Uhtred since he was a small boy. You have no need to hide. He and Uhtred have wanted for so long to find you. You have shown incredible strength. Stay. Uhtred, he saved me once from Sven when he was your little boy. Yes, he would do that. Mm. He'll take care of her. Yeah. Now she's happy with him, because Ragnar's happy again. Or at peace, maybe. Good job, Yoka. He saved her too, you know? Wow. 
was awesome. What a show. Seriously. So good, yeah. I, I, I feel kind of dumb now. <laughs> Being like, oh, it's going to be a slow burn, this whole Kiartan storyline. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Literally happened this episode. Yes. Unbelievable. That was so tense and nerve-wracking and emotional. Like, just knowing how long Ragnar has wanted that kill and how long it's just been kind of put on hold because Uhtred and Ragnar, like, we're going to do it together. It's been a long time, and he let loose a I, lot. I was just a little confused because Brita was like, stop. I no. just don't know if she's ever seen Ragnar like that. Right. Because even Uhtred's like, I've never seen you fight like that. And Ragnar's like, that wasn't fighting. That was a release of a lot of emotion and anger and... Pain. Everything. Yeah. And it's just, he's like, killing him wasn't good enough. And he was literally dicing him up. Like, that was... Well, that he's was, definitely not going to Valhalla. He didn't have a sword. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah. The way he handled... And, like, I don't think Hjartan was doing himself... Like, it felt like he was kind of... Had the upper hand for a second in the yes, fight. Yes, I was a little and then worried. He was kind of talking shit. Oh, he was. He was definitely talking shit. And like, I think he was that, talking about his sister, right? And I think that Made got worse. Ragnar more angry and more aggressive, and that ultimately is what lost him that fight. But, but usually, that's like it's not good to show your emotions during a fight because that could make you slip up. And well, it's probably something. why he was doing it. Well, yeah, yeah, he was trying to get Ragnar to saying, fuck like, up. Yeah, but Ragnar did not fuck up. No, that was. When they like started squaring up to fight, I got so nervous for Ragnar. I thought something was going to happen, and I thought Uhtred was going to have to like jump in and handle it or something. I got really nervous. <laughs> but <sighs> it's wild. I mean, we handled two really big storylines in this episode. Yeah. Because Eric and Sven, or Eric and Siegfried are gone, and Kjartan and, and Sven are dead. Mm -hmm. And... <sighs> Fucking Sven's death, dude. <laughs> Out like Ramsey Bolton. Sorry. <laughs> Spoiler. But it's like... I was like, uh... <laughs> Out by dog. And having his face ripped off. That was... And have his dad watch. That's a giant He's just like, oh shit, my son's dying right now. It's like backfire. Total backfire of a plan. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That whole sequence and the strategy and the attack, just everything about it was very intense. And now it's one of those things where I'm kind of going to ask the question that Ragnar asked, what now? Because it feels like the two biggest threats are kind of gone. Do they go back to Gutrid now and kind of handle that situation? Or is he going back to Alfred no, now to be like... We're ready. Like, yeah. things said, are done. Well, he said Wessex, he needs a little bit of peace. So, you, I mean, this show's not going to give him peace. No. Has he seen any peace? <laughs> He's seen pieces. Pieces. But, yeah, like, that was pretty wild that they handled those two big storylines in one episode. Yeah. And the way they kind of did the sneak attack on Eric and, and Siegfried was pretty wild. That was awesome. And that fight and... Uhtred was kind of getting his butt... Like, he, was, he wasn't kind of nothing. He was getting his ass kicked. He was. And then he friggin' sliced dude's hand off. <laughs> like, Dude. <laughs> that was so wild. Yes. And just the way that whole situation played out where... Like, shit hit the fan. Everyone knew. They were all alerted. And he just pulled him out with the knife. He's like, dude, Eric, I'm going to kill him. Make a plan. Let's, let's make an agreement here. And they agreed to leave. We'll see if they kind of hold up to that. But... You know, Siegfried was kind of just screaming, like, I'm going to kill you, Uhtred Ragnarsson. Like, I'm never going to give up. I'm so, never going to give up. I feel like that's one of those situations where that's always kind of going to be, like, a lingering conflict. Yeah. Just this dude's always going to kind of want to be hunting Uhtred. Yeah. And, yeah, it feels like he's, they're not just going to get on a ship and leave. Maybe Eric you will with know. a bunch of people. Yeah. But, like, it seems like one of those situations where Siegfried's going to stick stick around and Try to get his revenge. Dude, that, the whole hand with the fire. Oh, ah, his brother just ah, grabbed that shit and just, just put it in, it in there. He's like, I gotta save you right now. I'm gonna save you. Because <laughs> there is no real medical. Mm -mm. It's like, you There's have no... an open wound, we're burning it. Put no, it in the fire now. That shit. Oh, man. Good stuff. That was such a good episode. 
I, I was getting a little emotional when Ragnar was going ham. Like, I, so much buildup for that moment. Cer I feel like certain things now I've become desensitized <laughs> since I've seen so much in these past few years with yeah. the... Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot. With y'all. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all the different so. shows that we've watched. But just, like, try and... One thing I always try to do is, like, put myself in the eyes of whatever character that we're kind of watching and just trying to think about what like Ragnar could be going through oh in that my moment. God. Like, I think the music was really good. For it that. was. And just watching everyone's reaction and like Uhtred being like really excited and then Brita being like kind of horrified and just kind of like, what are you like? Stop. And just, just watching Ragnar just go ham and just like, he was using his sword. Then he pulled his knife. He just started doing jabby jabby. And it was just like, that was a really emotional moment because again, it was one of the very first things we saw kind of play out in this show. And Uhtred and Ragnar from the beginning have been like revenge together. And again, I don't know what it is about these two actors, but they've just got it. Like they've got it. Every time they're together, every time they're on screen, the little headbutt thing that they do, it's just... They've got all kinds of charisma together. And don't ever do that to me, dude. Don't know headbutts? No, okay. because, like... I mean, it's like a bro. Makeup. It's like a bro thing. We're, so, we are not that. Exactly. So, like, I'm not going to do that with you. That's like a bro thing. But, like, they've got... <laughs> I could do that with the girls. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But it's just one of those things where every time they're on screen together and their conversations and, like, the seriousness and then, like, the jokes and it just all works really well. Like, they're really good together. Yeah, so I agree. Whew. What I a good episode. It. That was really good. Yeah. So, anything else? You know what my favorite part was? Huh. When Uhtred smacked Gupin oh, across that was, the face. Like, uh, bitch. That was a really good moment. And I just love that Bjork is always just there to be like, Uhtred. Everyone's like, shut up. Stop. <laughs> He's like, pushes him back. Like, no, no. <laughs> like, I out. got this. We're good. But then he was there to save the day at the end with, this, with their sister. So yeah. that was a really good moment too. Yeah. And it looks like she got out of there and she's, she's going to be okay. Hopefully you know, they take all the dogs with them. Yeah, hopefully. And feed them so they don't eat any more people. Yeah. But <laughs> no more human flesh, okay? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was such a good episode. Yep. Anything else? No. Nope. All right, y'all. Leave your comments down below. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Bye. Bye.